Hello everyone, my name is Kanda. So here I'm going to explain and show the output of our project called Detection and Monitoring of Manhole using IoT. So here is our overall circuit we have mounted on the breadboard as you can see. So let me explain all the components. This is a GSM module 800C we have used and this is the antenna connected to this GSM module working with the respective SIM and we have placed the SIM here and um, and this is ultrasonic sensor we have used to detect the uh, level of water so here it comes a mic MQ2 sensor it will detect the gas and will uh, send the message when it's a dangerous gas has been detected and it will send like uh, to the end user it will send yeah so here uh, is our PIS sensor as we as you can see the PIS sensor it will detect the motion when it, the door is opened and uh, if it, it is very threatened for uh, the public and it will send the uh, it will call the actually it will call the end user that uh, the door have has been opened and the end user will fix it so yeah this is the controller we have used the it is a uh, Arduino Uno R3 and all the connection has been um, made to this uh, Arduino Uno board. The receiver and transmitter pin has been connected to the 12th and uh, 13th pin. So, 10th uh, pin. So, trigger pin is connected and uh, echo pin is also connected with the Arduino Uno board. And uh, MQ2 sensor output and the PIR sensor output has also been connected to the respective uh, pin numbers. And all the components we have used uh, ground and VCC is um, constant. And, uh, it is also connected with the respective pins like uh, VCC 5 volts and ground has been grounded commonly. So as you can see this is our overall. We have used all the three sensor. GSM module and um, Arduino Uno board. We have used a jumper wise to connect all the uh, pins. So here it comes our uh, uh, program. We have uh, written the code in the Arduino Uno board. Arduino Uno software we have written in this. And this is our final program. And you can see this home. Yeah. So here. Um, ultrasonic sensor program has been written the trigger pin is high uh, it's, uh, for our convenient to show the output we have if the distance is less than 5 it will send a uh, uh, message like water level is low no no uh, if it is uh, greater than 5 it will send a message as uh, water level is low if it is uh, uh, the threshold level of 5 if it exceeds uh, if it is below 5 it will send the message as the water level is high so here you can see this so uh, so water level is very high we will get the message like this to the end user and, uh, we have given uh, uh, our number to uh, send the message what we, have, we will be getting the output and the gas sensor uh, program has been written here so here you can see uh, Again, as per our convenient, we have given the threshold voltage as 200. If it exceeds uh, the uh, threshold voltage, it will uh, send a message uh, as a um, gas level has been exceeded, and uh, a message we will get uh, like this: dangerous gas has been detected. <coughs> so, uh, as like uh, uh, this PIR sensor will uh, do the separate function like a. Uh, uh, it is a main perspective of the our project if the PI sensor detected means if the door has been opened like the motion has been detected means the it will call directly to the end user and it is a very highest priority in all of this uh, sensor so we will be getting a call uh, like uh, from this GSM module that uh, door has been opened so it is a very highest priority uh, in our project so this is our code the respective pins has been connected to this uh, so let's check uh, let's verify this program once uh, like this yeah so 
the program has been verified and we have to connect the um, Arduino Uno board so uh, pins like this so it has been on so it got uh, on and we are going to dump the yeah, we are going to dump the program in it so we are going to upload the program to Arduino Uno board so uploading this uh, has been uh, successfully done and let's open the serial monitor here so as we can see like, uh, it will, we will get here yeah the gas level is 143 and the or uh, the water level is low <coughs> and we will not getting the, any messages here um, here is our cell we will be getting uh, when the wall and the threshold voltage exits so, so let's give the input like this um, as you can see so let's check the ultrasonic sensors uh, output first so what's the distance is 12 volt so my hand is uh, now nearby the sensor so I'm going uh, nearby this ultrasonic sensor okay distance is 9 now if it is less than 5 we will get the message so 7 6 2 no now we will get the message you can see so we we'll, we got the message like this So we got the message like uh, water level is very high so we got the message like this from the ultrasonic sensor so let's give the another uh, input so let's give the gas sensors input like this uh, so I'm using uh, Dhupala so I'm giving the input So, so, so let's wait for a second the ultrasonic sensor has been detected so, so now yeah I'm giving um, so it has been sent or uh, it has reached uh, 243 243 the threshold voltage was uh, uh, yeah like that and we got the message like here that yeah dangerous gas has been detected 243 and the value has been also got uh, we got the value we saw the two outputs so let's check the third one and the, and the main one PR sensors so let's keep yeah. if the door oh, was like this if the motion has been detected it will start calling to this uh, mobile what we have yeah we got this gsm module 26 we got the sensors so this is our project um, it's a very helpful project and so here it was the three outputs from the three different sensors we got successfully and thank you thank you once again